All right, so I got this natural gas fired peerless steam boiler here with intermittent pilot ignition on it. So the intermittent pilot ignition basically works to use an electric spark through a spark plug down here to ignite a small pilot flame. And then the pilot flame is what actually lights the main burners. So this atmospheric burner, what's been going on with this boiler is the pilot flame will light, the burners will ignite, the gas valve will open, obviously the burners will ignite, and then immediately the gas valve will get shut off and the burners will go out, and then the controller tries to relight the uh, pilot as if it didn't exist. So you hear the sparking, you hear the of the sparking of the ignition. So you know there's something going on where this controller thinks that the pilot light went out. So the only way that the this controller and this intermittent pilot system has a gas safety as far as making sure there's a flame present during combustion is the flame rod that's embedded in the pilot light flame. So I'm gonna to try to pull this apart and we're gonna see if we have to clean that, clean that flame rod off. Because I'm thinking the flame rod is dirty. The flame rod basically is just nothing more than a metal rod that goes into the flame, the pilot light, and electricity tries to go through the flame using what's called flame rectification. So a flame has some, you know, electrically charged ions in there. And if you put an electric field on that, you can get current to flow through it. And the controller basically looks for a current through that flame. And if it doesn't see a current, it assumes the flame isn't there. And it shuts off the gas supply to the main burner so you aren't filling your house up with gas. So here down inside is our uh, flame uh, pilot assembly. It's going to be hard for the camera to really see it, but... Um, come on, let's see if we can get a good picture. This thing's not that dirty, but this is the first time in six years that I've been taking this apart to deal with a flame rod, so that's pretty good. Surprise, it's not that. Surprise, it's not as it's not more dirty because my uh, basement is kind of messy. So I see the ceramic there. I see the parts to it. I'm just going to try to pause this and then we'll try to clean the flame rod. We're just going to use some fine steel wool to clean the flame rod, to clean the residue off of it. Okay. I can't really see it at all from this angle. Uh, well, you can kind of see it there. Uh, sort of. So there's the pilot assembly. You see the two like spark plug like looking objects there underneath the green wire. Center of the frame, that's the flame rod. All right, so basically all I did, I pulled the rest of the burners out, the burner uh, tubes out, got up in here, got up as good as I could. And uh, with the steel wool and got in there and Tried to clean that flame rod out. I'm too lazy to pull this whole pilot assembly out of here right now because there's a, this tube is all connected. It goes into the gas valve. I have to pull this compression fitting off the gas valve and bring that whole piece, unscrew these two screws right here. It doesn't look like the um, components here for the spark plug wire actually allow you to Pull that out independently. Looks like my spark plug boot is a little cracked on the top there from the heat from the burners over the years, I guess. So basically, this is just like an automotive, you know, spark plug, effectively. Let's make sure this is in good shape. So we got, yeah, it's definitely cracked right there. I might put some, oh man, the rubber is brittle yeah they might have some silicone tape i could wrap around that for the time being but yeah so we're gonna try to relight this thing and hopefully uh don't have the same problem so clean your flame rod that's all there is to that